In your wickedness, you have broken the ancient commandments and crafted a bond with one of the light. Our laws are clear. They demand you be eternally imprisoned. As for the impure child, she must be kept from the path of the dark arts for a Hello, everyone. RBG can get here with a new, with a new let's play Bayonetta. of Bayonetta. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I wasn't ex exactly like I was like I'll be honest. So, so we wrapped up Kirby, and in my mind I was thinking like, okay, I could play. You know, I, I mentioned in the end of Kirby's like maybe it's gonna be another sequel to a game that we played beforehand. And there's a couple of them in my mind. You know, there's Final Fantasy th uh, 10 2. Um, there's uh, you know, Kune 2. But in my mind, I was like, ah, I don't know if I want to play those just yet. Because I'm already playing a, a, a JRPG. I'm, I'm already playing no uh, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And, and with the possibility of us getting Final Fantasy 16 maybe sometime later this year, uh, I don't really want to have too many Final Fantasy series in this year. I mean, we already did Strangers of Paradise. Although, I highly doubt... I'm, I'm going to say this flat out. I highly doubt we're going to get 16 this year. If anything, we'll get very early next year. Maybe in, like, January or February. That's my guess, anyway. That's my guess. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong because, you know... Um, they said that there's been a lot of uh, good work with that. And saying it's basically almost done. Just got to do stuff. But you never know. And with so many other games from Square Enix coming out, like, you know, they have for Spoken coming out. They really don't want to you know, hinder for spoken sales by releasing 16 so damn close to it. And I highly doubt they really want to release it to the end of the year, but we'll see. Um, so I just thought, you know, another game that's supposed to be coming out this year is Bayonetta 3. I have not beaten Bayonetta 1 or 2. I have played Bayonetta 1. I have not gone that far into it. I actually started playing it again yesterday just so I can like kind of refresh myself and I was like okay yeah no this will be a let's play series so I have not gotten far into Bayonetta 2 uh Bayonetta 1 here and I obviously I haven't even touched Bayonetta 2 so so in my mind I'm like you know what let's play Bay Bayonetta uh, it's not that long of a game it's a platinum game um I'm very excited for Bayonetta 3 even though I haven't really played Bayonetta 1 all that much but yeah you know I, I figure it's like yeah it'll be a good thing so I figured you know fuck it let's just do Bayonetta so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do Bayonetta uh, not be able to continue from your save checkpoint. Proceed anyway. Yeah, that's fine. My last save was on a, uh... My last save was at a save, so we're good. Difficulty is normal. Here we go. Since erased from the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be. The Umbra Witches, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the light. The clans paid each other great respect, and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, 
That balance was toppled. Once harmonious clans fell into disagreement and stoked the flames of hatred against each other, resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Luna threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Despite the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen Sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive Dark Witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended in the number of witches' favor. Badass. Prologue. I accidentally hit the R button when I didn't mean to. Oh well. Select the costume change to choose Bayonetta as current costume. I did not mean to do that. But there it is. So yeah, we could change our costume if we really wanted to. She could be Peach, Daisy, Link, or Samus. We're not gonna have any of those on because it it also plays in the cutscene, so we don't want to do that. So. All right, let's start the vestibule. Let's do this. I'll probably do the prologue and maybe chapter one in the first part, so we'll see. Now, I don't plan to 100% this game at all. No, this is just going to be a straight, you know, a straight, uh, missions, you know.
looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Even old Eggman the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People have been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Now, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. Douchebag! Ah! I hate this damn light! I can't see a thing! Oh! But they're there, ain't they? You hearing me? You, you can see them, can't you? Look at I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh, my God! Dear Lord, grant us guidance. Keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity.
little angels deserve a good banking. from me, Bayonetta. Okay, here we go, finally. I do not like the fact that they're showing me what to do with touch controls. I don't care about the touch controls, obviously. So here we are, now they're showing me how to do it. Beautiful. Enemies will appear to move in slow motion for a period of time with which time, yep. Yeah. Halo, a very rare spiritual metal containing the essence of an angel's life force. Use the business transaction within within Inferno. Oh! 
Oh, wrong button. That was yeah. Haven't you figured it out yet? Oopsies. There's no quarter for you in this world. Block or not block, but the dodge, but that didn't work. Oh well, I got silver still. Yay! Radon should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix? How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Hmm. Engine still purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with it you! It never stops you with keep you! keep like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Oh! Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before this shit hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. What about Eggman? Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. You heard the man. Finish <laughs> up in five minutes, or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here! Take a 
every cent I earned on this charade to pay for the damage. I tell you what, if I could see them bastards that did this to my car, forget about it. Enzo. Forget about Rude. it. Pay attention. How can you be so calm? You're still getting screwed in all this too. Of all the low-life scum in too deep in this town, I've never seen one get wrapped up in a fight with God's messengers. <laughs> Dressed like a nun, too. When you end up in the afterlife, that's not going to be pretty. I can't help it if I like the little outfits. The toys are nice. <laughs> Woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. All you can remember is that you were a witch. But now you're stuck because you gotta sacrifice our halo wearing friends every day or they'll drag your ass back down to hell. I know I thought I got screwed, but being forced to slap around the divine for a living, that's really getting screwed. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. I see to the funeral. You get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. Ha 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 ha! Come on now! Look at my poor car! I'm working for free after this! At least let me get a drink at Rodan's before you start drilling me. The info I got is good. It's gonna get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I swear. That lost past of yours. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> After jewels instead of cash. Just like a girl. <laughs> Jesus! Can't you take a joke? Enzo, someone's given you a present. Hey, too bad. I can't stand bugs. What whoa. whoa. Hi, Jean. Regina, I can't rem quite remember how to pronounce it. Torture attack. Let's go back. 
Hey, I got gold. That's not bad. Platinum coffee. Maybe I will just, just just do the prologue. Those assholes sure know how to get attention. Even perk the ears of the hotheads down home. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. <gasps> Human world. Inferno. Paradiso. Who Paradiso. can tell the difference? Even harder with Purgatorio in the middle. Fight long enough in there and you'll really lose sight. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? It's a balance, right? Even if some of them like messing around with the humans, we've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep fucking around like this, the Book of Revelations is gonna look like Mother Goose. Probably she's gonna look like Mother Goose. Are gonna go straight for each other's throats. Heaven and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Something's up. Everything was a bit too bracing. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This reeks of a setup. Someone in one of those lost memories calling you out. I got a little present for you. These babies are special. It's the guns. Built from an alloy the devil himself would kill to get his hands on. Don't break these, because they're one of a kind. strange offers then again I'm getting a little tired of these weaklings they keep throwing at me maybe I should aim for something a bit more high class pounding them down tonight baby not to butt into your affairs but I'm pretty sure you got somewhere better to be the guys you're up against aren't the type to wait for you to finish a round. And she's already gone. Yeah, he, that's a small glass where he's got big hands. So, her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. I think that's his glass. Motherfucker. Yeah, dead beam. <laughs> I love these characters, alright? They're awesome. Hey, look at that. Hey! Gold, baby. A 
reward and no item. Seems very good to me. I to play Angel Attack. Aim to fire at the Angel's target to rank up high scores in the sling shooting game. For each arcade bullet in your possession, you may fire three times during the game. Hitting multiple Angel targets or aiming and hitting vital points of the targets will earn new bonus points. If you set the high score on this machine, you will be handsomely rewarded. Developed and distributed by your naughty friends at Platinum Games. Round over. And I can't get anything with this. Well, let's see what these things do. So our green herb lollipop, an extent of healing properties while minimal. Consuming this will recover one's vitality. Uh, magic. Raise one's attack power. Impregnable shield for a short period of time. Uh, that dramatically increases one's vitality, but only affected during the next chapter. <clears throat> Uh, automatically, Jesus, automatically re recharges two segments of the magic gauge, uh, restores more vitality, more magical power, more attack, more of field, uh, wonders to mock machine that can save a witch from death, from the death of mortality, automatically used when vitality is depleted, uh, as a play of mystical shrines cause heavy damage to any nearby angels, just exchange those for points, baby. Angels Metropolis. All right, but well, I guess we can't do anything else yet. Okay. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I guess that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Bayonetta. In the next part, guys, we shall continue on. Or well, I guess we'll technically start the game. I, uh, no, the prologue was actually very lengthy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click. And comment down below. Check about the video. Didn't like about the video. Let me know, guys, what you think of uh, that intro for Bayonetta. I honestly, I like it a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this. Well, again, I played it last night, but it's been a while since I played, like, the beginning parts of it, you know. But, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to, you know, continue playing this game and to get further on than I have ever done. So, yeah. As well as, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RPG, Kim Kids, Twitter are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I will see you all next time.